Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Novus Video Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be checking out KDE 6 on Chaos. So let's check it out. So as of right now, Chaos is the only operating system that has KDE 6 uh, installed onto it natively. Now Chaos is actually a rolling distro dedicated to run KDE. Now I've heard about this operating system before, but never ever tested it. I know it runs off Arch. Personally, I'm more targeted into checking out KDE 6, but we might as well check both of them out at the same time. So let's begin. Now here we have the login screen of Chaos, and I actually really like the wallpaper itself. I don't know if this is particularly SDDM or the new version of SDDM, but I do know that the new KDE 6 ships with Wayland. You can still choose X11 if you don't have any compatible apps with Wayland, but Wayland is the default. Now, before we jump into this welcome screen, the first thing you're gonna notice is that KDE 6 now shifts their panel to the right-hand side vertically. I actually really like this. I do this on my own desktop. This way I could still get the 16 by nine aspect ratio on a 1080 screen if you have the title bar on top. So this actually works out very well for me. And this is considered what they call the floating style. So it's not actually touching the edge of the screen and there's like a little gap. But yes, I do really like this uh, menu and I would keep it this way. You can change it to the bottom if you want, but vertically is something very comfortable to be used. I used to do this with uh, GNOME as well towards the left side if I needed to, there's like the panel on the left. Obviously with this being KDE, there's so many ways that you could customize this. Anyway, let's check out this welcome screen. So we have the widget style and here we could actually change to whatever we want. So right now it's set up to use Kvantium. Now I'm not too sure because most KDE does not ship with Kvantium. I have to actually act, install it afterwards. Not too sure if this came because of chaos, but it's nice that it is already available. So we could use that. Now I'm not really feeling this style. I don't know if this is default, but again, we could always change it. So I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna go to plasma theme, like this blue theme, it's called Midna. I'm not sure if that's part of the KDE because I know Breeze is always KDE, but again, this could be the new theme to KDE. I'm not exactly sure. I, maybe because I've been using Breeze for so long, I just prefer it, but yeah, let's keep it on Midna. And then now we have window decorations. Now this is the new Breeze decoration. I'm not a huge fan of this decoration with this line right here. I don't really think this looks pretty nice and I don't know why Midna was not chosen. So what I'm gonna do is actually switch it over and see how it looks. Yeah, this looks a lot better with this theme. Maybe if I switch it to mid and a dark, it's all right. I mean, the panels itself are all, all light, so I might as well just keep it in a the light theme for now. But yeah, you can actually still change and download, configure themes, whatever you want. Mouse behavior, we have our standard settings, so that's fine. Uh, icon set, so we could change the icons. Uh, we are using Midna again, not Breeze, which I think I like Breeze better. I like the icons on Breeze better, but this is more of a bubbly style. We'll keep it for now. Again, it's maybe just me. I might grow accustomed to liking this new style. Not too sure yet. Uh, you also have virtual desktops, screen settings, colors, and font settings. So these are all things that we could actually pull up in configurations. Now, in favor of Octopi, they got rid of Discovery, which I do like Discovery a lot more because it's more intuitive, it's easier to use, but they are using Octopi as a package manager, which I'll show you in a little bit. Now, wallpapers, you could, actually, you could also change this. Uh, I don't see anything pop up. What is it, popular, latest, nothing. Documents, if you need to install stuff. I think it comes with Library Office. Then we have advanced settings like firewall, network management, system daemon, add user, configure search, Pac-Man cache. Uh, we have the, our little about. Ideal behind is created a high tight and rolling distro, modern desktop to build from scratch, specifically focused on KDE. Um, okay, so I'm gonna quit this and head into settings so system settings now i do like that fact that they actually put all this on top the input and output uh back then this used to be scattered all over hardware and other stuff down in the menu so they do have the more important stuff up on top like your display monitor touch screen mouse and keyboard sounds so i don't have to keep scrolling up and down to look for that specific thing so i do like that they move this to the top and again, the settings are exactly the same as you would find on KDE 5, but just this alone makes a huge difference having everything over here because I always have to adjust sound settings when my monitor is off and comes back on and loses the sound. Anyway, it's a lot easier to have everything all in one place. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. You got the Bluetooth over here, KDE Connect, which is something I talk about in all my videos. 
It's very useful if you have it on your phone to sync data and everything to your desktop. You have your colors and themes, wallpaper, default applications, notifications, um, general behavior, screen locking, permissions, KDE wallet, and a bunch of standard stuff. So the settings alone hasn't changed much other than the position of certain things, but the settings alone is the same. Now I do like the fact that they do have widgets up on the menu, which you could also get on KDE5. Like this is a calculator menu, or if you want a post-it menu, it just pops out and you could use it. Again, if I go into edit mode, I could actually set this position to wherever I want. So if I want to, the panel to be on bottom, or the panel to be on the left side instead, or the panel back to the right side, that's where I'm gonna to prefer to have. Uh, you can do that. Uh, you could change the alignment, the length, um, and over here is the floating style that I was talking about. You see, as soon as I got rid of the floating style, it's attached to the edge of the screen. And if I turn it back on, it kind of like comes out and it has a little gap. Uh, opacity and visibility. So those are the standard things you could do. You can still add global widgets and stuff like uh, this over here, the calculator or sticky notes. So you can do all that. I'm going to close out of this. Go back into the KDE menu. Now this is a standard menu that comes with KDE 5 as well. If you were to right click this and go into, not edit mode, sorry, um, show alternative, you can actually use these other application menu or launchers, as you can say, but I'm gonna keep it on the default and let me close out of this. Now, jumping into their Dolphin, uh, nothing much has changed in Dolphin. It looks exactly the same other than the fact that now you have a button to show hidden files. Uh, this wasn't here before and everything seems to be pretty native to what it was before. Open as an administrator, I believe that was there as well. Terminal, so if I go into do downloads, open terminal here, and there we go, we got console up, and we have our little terminal, okay? Pretty much the same. Um, as far as compression wise, yeah, that not much has changed. Everything seems to be okay. Uh, jumping into here, I was gonna show you um, their system system monitor did that change no this is exactly the same the system i love the kde system monitor it's you can add to this and modify this and make your own little page so if you want to uh, have your gpu stats up here or other stats you can actually change this around i really do like the system monitor from kde all right let's check out um another thing that i was talking about earlier which is system and Octopi. I don't know why they opt in to use Octopi. Is it because it's uh, Arch? And this is easier to navigate with Arch instead of using Dolphin, but that's not true. Manjaro uses uh, Discovery as well, not Octopi. It reminds me of Aptitude. So if you're familiar with uh, Linux, Ubuntu, uh, they use Aptitude, the program, the GUI version. So we have uh, Kate, Compare, uh, Libre Math, Games, they have a uh, card game, Graphics comes with uh, Libre Draw and standard stuff. Uh, internet, they use Falcon, which is a Firefox based uh, browser, much like Chromium, how Chromium is a open source version of Chrome, uh, similar to what Falcon is to Firefox. Everything feels a lot smoother uh, in KDE 6 versus KDE 5. It just feels more fluid. Uh, if I Alt Tab, actually I need to have a couple of things open. Let me open this and open this. If I Alt Tab, you have this. And if I was to switch this window, look, I could actually pull out a uh, uh, window key tab or meta key tab. Once you would have this, do it twice, you see the full desktop and then press it again, you close it out. So if I wanted to switch this, I could go like that or switch to a second desktop. Or if I wanted to uh, drag this down to this one, I could do that as well. So it's pretty cool. I do like that uh, new aspect of it. You can add more desktops if you want to. So if I add a new desktop over here, this should have three now. Yeah, there you go, three. And there you go, you have your three. And the last thing I wanted to check out was uh, did they retain all the graphical settings? So I'm gonna go over to system, system settings and window decorations, which is somewhere probably color and themes. Uh, window decoration, no, not here. I was looking more towards um, window management. There you go. And desktop effects they do they do have a lot of the effects that i have over here so if i was to close out this menu similar to what i have on my regular desktop which is this pc over here uh it just explodes and you can actually maintain all this aside from all that i do really like kde5 in general and 6 is very promising i don't think it's complete yet until everything comes out uh, not much has changed other than it feels smoother 
Uh, they cleaned up some of the stuff in the settings. You have the floating menu now and default comes on the right hand side. But otherwise, um, I don't feel too much of a change going from 5.20, I think I'm on to 6.0. And as far as the operating system, Chaos, I really do like the name K-A-O-S. And when you say it out, it's just Chaos. In particular, I'm, I don't find it too much different from much any of the Arch Linux pre-install environments. You do have your package manager, the desktop works, they do have a rolling distro, so it's the latest versions of everything you can get. Installing it for me, I didn't run into any issues. I didn't install it onto a physical machine instead of virtual. I like to test machines on a physical machine versus virtual. Otherwise, all in all, I do like uh, KDE 6. I hope they come uh, shipped default in other operating systems so I could test them more intensively. But for now, um, yeah, I do really like it. Anyway, that is it for me. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And then say my Nerd Cave. Hack till it hurts.